welcome back to the Off Grid family. Today is part two and we're doing all about the blades to the wind turbine project. I'm going to hopefully talk you through every single stage from drawing it onto the pipes, cutting them and then sharpening the blades and so on. Let's get on shall we? So I chose this pipe. Uh, it was the only one I had in the garden that I thought the walls were thick enough. And what I've done is I measured 10, I, I did an arbitrary straight line. And I measured 10 centimeters from that to the next next part, and above it I measured four centimeters. And so basically, I've made sort of fin kind of shapes. And then on the the diagonal, I then made that another straight line, and so on. And basically, I've hopefully made fin type shapes. Let me demonstrate that to you now. Okay, as I said before, this is 110 mil by 3.2 mil PVC pipe. Um, it's a waste pipe, so it's got quite a nice thick wall on it, which makes the fins a little bit thicker, and you can do a little bit more with them. When it comes to it at the end, I'll show you what I mean. Now start off just by making a line anywhere, straight line from one edge to the other, and this will be the back part of your first fin. This can be a bit tricky, but try and make it as straight as you can. only just see that but I will go over it in um, black shortly. Now you measure from the line you've just made 10 centimeters exactly or as close to 10 centimeters as you can. Try and be as precise as you can because that you know it gives you more leeway later on. Now at the opposite end, you're going to make the, the shorter part of the fin. So from your line, measure exactly four centimeters. Now from the lines, uh, the points you've just made, draw a line across and you basically have your the, the most basic fin shape. The measurements I'm using and the pipe size I'm using allows me to make four fins. However, two will be clockwise and two will be anti-clockwise. Okay, and there we go. It's not very good on the camera, so I'll go over it in black, just roughly. So obviously the black lines I'm doing are not gonna be straight by any means, but I'm doing this just so that you guys can see it at home. This will not be the line I'm cutting along. There we go. That's one fin done. Now all you need to do is measure from the thinnest end out to 10 centimeters, and then at the thickest end, which was 10 centimeters, just measure four. And you've got a clockwise and an anti-clockwise fin. And when doing this line, it should end up being virtually straight. All 
Once you've done that, it's straight on to cutting it. Now for this I used a jigsaw, but you can use anything you're comfortable with. Um, I was going to be originally using a hacksaw, uh, but I didn't. I found my jigsaw blades. If you are going to use a jigsaw, use something with very, very fine teeth, something like a metal cutting blade, because otherwise you'll chip the um, pipe in different places and you don't want that to happen. I've clamped this down, I've got a piece of dowel going all the way through and I've clamped it at both ends so it's holding it where it is. That's the sort of shape we get. The next bit is marking out the tab, the place that actually connects to the wind turbine. I'm measuring four centimeters up from the bottom. I'm marking it in two places and then using a straight edge to mark that all the way around the edge. The easiest way to mark around an edge is to find a piece of cardboard. It doesn't have to be novelty moustaches, but it does help. Again, try to be as exact as you possibly can at this point. It saves any fuss later on although there will be a lot of touch-up work we have to do. As you can see, the cardboard takes the contour of the semicircle quite easily and it makes drawing around it a lot lot simpler. From the straight edge measure up 4 centimeters and mark it off. This little section will be the section you keep and that will connect to the hub of the wind turbine. And the bigger bit will be the bit you cut off and discard. Okay, so if you can just see it on the camera, I made this line, this bit here is going to be what that attaches to the actual wind turbine and this bit I'm cutting off. Okay, so I've done a little bit since I last recorded, and what I've done is I cut the edge off this to make it more of a point, and then I've started filing the other ones down. Here's a finished one. All edges are filed smooth, and then I've filed these to a point. And then back to here, if you have a look, it, it goes from point or bit to fatter, if that makes sense. So this has all been filed down and as far as I'm concerned it's a, bl bla a blade that's ready. All I need to do is drill some holes. So I start, I basically I cut the edge off and then with a file I did it all by hand. Filed this edge and this edge and then I turned it over and filed 
the edge down there as well. So I'm going to do that to this one and I think it's this one and once I've done that, after, oh, one thing I forgot to mention, after filing it I then sanded it down to make it smooth because once you file, you know, you're going to be left with rough edges. Okay, so here's two that I've started the tops on. This one I started, I haven't finished. And then this one is one that I've finished. And if you, I don't know if you can pick that up. How, how much of a sort of point, a, a sharp edge it's got compared to this one. It might show up in the camera, I'm not entirely sure. But this one comes down to a point all the way down here. This one, however, does not. I hope that shows up, I'm not entirely sure. But now, the last one. Oh, one thing you saw me doing, um, I, I personal preference, you don't have to do this, but I just like to round off the back side of it, just to, um, I don't know, give it more of a professional feel. So I've made all of them, I've sanded them all down, made them all beautiful and sharp and smooth on this side. So my next job now is to measure out where the holes go and cut them. I'll do that off camera, you can all cut a hole I'm sure. Um, and then I've made a, a separate thing that I can um, connect them to and see how well they spin. So I'll do some tests with that as well in a bit. <laughs> 